guys, it's our favorite time of the day down here at the shop, which is lunch time. Some of you might know, I'm a big home chef, but I get busy and don't always have time. And Factor makes it easy to have fresh, prepped, and ready to go meals. Just two minutes. Let's show you how easy it is. Take it out, poke a couple holes. Pop it in your micro wave. What Steve say is his motto, set it and forget it. I didn't forget about it. With Factors, ready to go meals, not only are we saving time and money, but we're avoiding eating some of that junk fast food that is usually the only way to get a quick meal. Get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code JIMMYO50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code JIMMYO50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to the video. What is up everyone? Uh, I'm officially back in Endicott. We're in the shop. I've missed it, but I'm also sad to be gone because that was probably one of the best trips I've ever had in my life. Everyone there was amazing. I got to meet so many new people, got to have so many new experiences. Uh, Guy and his crew were the most welcoming people ever and to be able to drive D1 in a different country, in a different car, um, it, was le it was legendary, honestly. It felt, it was the coolest thing. I learned so much and it has me more motivated for driving. And all I want to do is drive right now, which is cursing me because I don't want to wrench at all. I just want to go drive. Uh, but while I was gone, the guys were here holding down a uh, spoon. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, my goal when I left was just work on the coupe, right? That's what, uh, as I said, I was like, get, get what you can done on the coupe. Uh, just because this poor thing's been sitting in the corner for a long time and we came home to the coupe. I mean, overall, look at it. The kit is mocked up. It fits amazing. It is so cool to see new styling on the car. I'm, I'm really hyped to be able to have like a new feel for the car this year. We're gonna do different style wheels. We're gonna do a big livery this year. We have a bunch of cool stuff planned for it. And the first thing is just seeing the kit back on it, which makes it look like a car again, which makes my heart happy. Full rebirth. Look at this thing. It actually looks like a car again. It's beautiful. At this point, I've ex I was really bummed that you know now I no longer have factory metal up front, right? It loses that pure like street car feel to me, but. And I was kind of hoping to almost retire this car before it got to this point, but the more I drive, the more I realize that at the end of the day, this car means way too much for me to want to like retire it. And what am I going to build another one? No, it's, it's, it's going to sit. It's not fun. Exactly. And so like, I want to forever drive this car and driving all these other, in all these other countries, I've realized that you could crash these things quite a bit before you got to chunk them away. Cause you could always cut off, tube them, fiberglass them and it'll still be a car and that's where we're at at this point. Before I, I talk anymore, the big mission was getting the tube front on this car, right? Because we had to cut the whole front end off this thing and basically remake a new one. And the point of it was to make bars that are structurally sound for the car and bars that can actually hold up the body panels, right? And I think Spoon knocked it out of the park completely with all of those aspects and well. We have some B-roll for you that uh, we want you to see before we talk about it. So. Enjoy a few minutes a Spoon doing his thing.
So when it comes to two fronts, obviously there is no wrong way. To, I guess there's wrong ways to do it, but it can be done a million different ways. But there's two points that we talked about before that you want to hit, right? The structural points and then the basically body panel supporting points. And well, Spoon, I was, I was kind of happy I was gone when you did this because I kind of just let you get in your own world and do it or else I think we would have been like, oh, what about this? What about this? Too much, yeah. you know? And we're, now you're just kind of able to get after it. And so let's look what Spoon did. You guys saw it in the B-roll, but check this thing out, right? So the first thing I love that Spoon did, and we talked about this like the instantly was this main bar right here, right? This was the piece that was gonna give structural integrity back to the strut tower. Cause if you look, I mean, this, which is in charge of so much is literally just a couple thin pieces of metal. That's it. Stamped together. Just stamped together. This is too easy to move. So by putting this, this thing is thick too. Now this arch and this pipe is making up for a lot of lack of strength in the strut tower because the last thing we want is that the thing to move again. I want my suspension to just crumble. Strut tower stay where it is, right? And then we have this, the main bar right here that is going to be the structural integrity of the frame rail, right? Because we don't want this to move. That's the goal. Killed it. The big thing about this is you just want to make sure it's not in the way of anything and uh, spoon test fit the wheel, make sure this actually isn't gonna get in the way of the wheel. And so we're good to go. He gusted it together, formed it to the tower, boom, easy. Now the cool thing you guys didn't really see yet is the piece that he made to actually hold the front panels together, right? The headlights, the fenders, the hood, the accessories. So everyone does this differently and it's kind of cool to see how everyone does it. What I like about what spoon did here is he actually made it removable, right? This is something that, right? It's, it's fire, right? It's fire. So we talked about making it removal. I didn't know how he was gonna do it, if we were gonna add it somewhere up here or if we're gonna add it back here. You know, people pick their battles with that one. But Spoon made this whole entire piece replaceable because if this gets, one, if we gotta pull the engine, which I hope not, we could take this off and it's like an Audi and a BMW where the whole front end comes off and you could just pull the engine straight out, which is nice for the stupid long drivetrain. And hopefully the engine doesn't ever have to come out. This thing has been way too good to me, but you never know. Awesome too is the fact that where it does remove from the chassis, he braced it because the goal is if I get hit in the front, I don't want this stuff to move. This stuff can move, it's gonna happen, but then we can just replace it, right? We have this point right here that is a replaceable point and we can start from scratch again, which would what happen. This, that's how pro cars are built. There's a reason why it happens, it's drifting. When you get to a certain level, you don't want damage to happen, but it happens. The biggest thing was just making it basic. Basic. I didn't want to overcomplicate it. No, because why waste the time because you're potentially gonna get smashed again, right? Uh, uh, obviously, you wanna make it you want to make it efficient because if you wanna to have to remake this, it's not gonna be the end of the world, right? So we have this main bar that's everything has, like kind of like the factory course bar, right? There's a main bar right here, and then we have the brackets that come off to support our accessories, which would be the intercooler, the lights, the radiator, all the good stuff. Yeah. The main bar is literally this one U and then just two straight bars down. That's it. That one both down here. And if this thing gets knocked over, we can probably pull it straight again with not not many issues, right? Uh, we still got some things to make. We gotta make the radiator tabs right here. We got a new radiator because this one's all tweaked up. Uh, hood pins on this, but overall, I mean, most things are mounted. Everything, yeah. Everything. Last thing we need is a bash bar, which is obviously very important. That one's gonna hopefully take the brunt of most hits. Yeah. Spoon, you killed it. Thank you. I'm happy. It was it was really fun to kind of walk in and just and just see how you banged it out versus being over your neck the whole time. It feels like a car again and uh, I am way beyond ready to do as much running as I can this year. Is this technically pretty much complete? Uh, or... Aside from a few small brackets, yeah. Yeah, it's ready to go. Almost, yeah, some That's paint, good. some brackets. That's paint, crazy, some right? brackets and a bash bar. And... Intercooler. I still need new coils because they're bent, some new arms because they're bent, Radiation. and a, a, new, so, uh, a new rack because that's also bent. Is the rack bent? The rack's bent, yeah, the rack end's bent, but um, we're almost there, which is crazy. And it's back to the body work stuff, but are we're you good. running the same intercooler? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna. This time, we're putting a bigger intercooler on it for bigger, for better IATs. Because before we had this SR radiator or intercooler. You see that thing? It's tiny, tiny. Luckily, this thing was on ethanol, but the intake air temps were way too damn high. Um, and then Spoon also tilted the radiator a little bit, which gives us way more room for fans and also helps with the flow of the whole air. There, nice right? work, Spoon. Nice, nice work. So as you guys know, before I left for New Zealand, the RX-7 FC was our main project, right? We were chugging along, getting this thing ready for the drivetrain, and we killed it. The bay looks absolutely immaculate, and it is ready for its new, well, and it's ready for Spoon to be driving it. But um, <laughs> we actually had um, planned to, as soon as I get back, or the day I get back, we were gonna go down to Virginia and build the engine, get it ready for 
having it here so we could have that before I left for the next trip because literally next Tuesday I leave for Dubai for a week which is gonna be insane I cannot wait for that content and then we go straight from Dubai straight to Ireland for a week to go for another Drift Games bash so if you guys are in Ireland for March dates here because I forgot things 11 and 12 um, put it in. Yeah, two day bash. If you guys want to go to Mandela Park, show up, come hang out, have some fun. Unfortunately, some things popped up and um, it's no longer a possibility. We still might be able to make it happen like this weekend before I leave. We're trying to figure that out. Uh, but it kind of throws a wrench in our week because honestly, I was counting on it a little too much. Plans didn't align, which has me kind of going a little wild this week because I didn't really have much more <laughs> lined up. I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest with you guys. So right now, we don't have the engine for this week. I'm hoping we can make it happen. We're going to try. But um, life happens and things happen, so we get it. Um, uh, I hate to do it to you guys and just leave it with a talking video like this, but I think just to get us ahead for the week, we're gonna finish off the video with some sub mail because we got quite a bit. And uh, since I haven't been around, we haven't done it. And so let's go open some packages and have fun. Sub mail! Sub mail! All right, before we get the sub mail, we didn't get to show this yet because I was away, but yeah, let me just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show this real quick. Trophies. We're, we're proud of this one. Check this thing out, boys. Can you see it? Hold on, hold on. Here, Spoon, hold it up. There we go. Uh, Top Link Dealer 2022. Put the horns on it. Oh! <laughs> it's a big deal. Um, Third year in a row. That's amazing. If you guys remember last year, we got our Golden Fury, which was super we cool. But this, we didn't, get we didn't get anything the first year. Oh, Medina, you owe us another job. <laughs> kidding. But look how cool this is. I mean, this is all thanks to you guys for allowing us to be your Link dealer. It's been amazing working with the Link themselves. We got to visit them when I was in New Zealand. It was super cool. And to be able to just be some kid wanting to learn how to tune and now being able to be one of their top dealers in north america it is it is sick it is a pleasure with that if you guys want any link products at all hop below shop jimmy o i just want to point out that apparently according to sales we're top 10 in the world that's sick i'm proud of us that's that's it. Ga, 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 ga. so if you guys want any link ec products uh also support at shop jimmy o. any questions we'll get you sorted uh we know our stuff I mean, I just forwarded to Jimmy. He know I know logistics. <laughs> Jimmy knows the other aspect of it. <laughs> Not to make it a big plug, but can we talk about? I've been saying this all, the the K series plug and play most slept Slap. on ECU. Slept. Get off. Oh, no. Put your Han data no, away. No, no. They lowered the price on it. Yeah. It's three hundred dollars yeah, cheaper I now. I yelled at him. That's right, Jimmy. Get the rest of them lowered. <laughs> I'm trying, boys. We uh, they actually sat when we went to Lincoln, New Zealand. They sat us down in front of the whole team, and they're just like talking. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was after having no sleep the night before, and I was just like basically drooling on my uh, on myself talking to these guys. But uh, I'm excited to work even closer with the company this year, and we'll have some really cool stuff coming out. And um, I won't sleep until I have my own collab ECU. You don't <laughs> sleep anyways. Know, yeah. Did they know who RJ was? <laughs> no. They, they better know who RJ is. I'm the behind the scenes guy. Nobody knows me. Look at that face. That's the guy who gets all them them, them ECU slung. <laughs> He's the one. I'm the one who's getting you your unlock code at 2 in the morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, boys, uh, we're going to hop right into it because I am jet lagged and uh, I think I need some sleep. But, uh, sub mail, right? So, you guys know we have a P.O. box in our description. And uh, what it is is you guys, the subscribers, send us mystery packages. Uh, we love this. It's so much fun, and uh, it sometimes it's useful things, sometimes it's thoughtful things, sometimes it's creative things, and sometimes it's just gross, weird things. It's always fun, though. It's, it's always, always fun. fun. So this is the pile we have for today. We're gonna get to it, and uh, let's see what you guys said. Let it rip, Come RJ. On, get in there. We need to re up on snacks. So I was gone. Steve ate all of them. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Steve actually had a, a tummy issues. My stomach weird. hurts. <laughs> Jim and gang. Big Jim and gang. <laughs> actually, it says Big Jim and gang. Yeah. Love what y'all do. Keep up the good work. And here's some more wall pieces. Follow my TikTok to see my build. I have not seen anybody say that. See my TikTok. Yeah, I have no That's the first person to plug their Tiki Talk. Yes, B Hall and I have the Tiki. same birthday. Huh. There's his TikTok and his Insta. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, Ooh. dibs. Dibs. That's all cool. right. Spoon. Spoon's, Spoon's a big Hot Wheels boy, too. Yeah. What These are that? all bangers here. Oh, uh, FB sick. Ooh. Calling dibs. Oh, we'll get that collection right there. The FC. I'm not paying my blue. That's so blue? Gonna... I have a white one you want to trade? Yeah, I'll trade you. I think I need a yellow EK. Mmm. I need a new That's another EF. Thank you for the goodies. It's... All right, I'm doing this one. I think this one's been... 
Hi Jimmy and gang. So I'm moving out of state to a new career on my own. So I was rummaging through stuff and remembered Steve wanted to put a PlayStation in Cedric. Yo. So here you go, Steve. Hope it adds no to your way. aesthetic. P.S. Threw in some stuff to help with harness management from Jason. So let's no see what Jason way. said. No way! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hold on. Don't, Wait, okay. is the portable yeah, one? Bro. Cable management. Love this. Nice work, love that. PS1 and it's the a mini, mini John. Oh, this is a glove box edition. With the top of it flipped. Bro, that's what? fire. Insert the PlayStation. Is there a game no, in no. it? No, but I have some games. Like I have some... mad games. Ooh, Yo. hold up. Hold up. Nah, bro. Let's no, see. Can... Let's plug okay. it in. <laughs> All right. Bro. The Grand Trizzy 2. Tony Hawk Smoke Pro Skater, oh, all bangers. Smackdown! Smackdown! Yeah! <laughs> Dave Mara, BMX, I only yes. had the, the, you remember how when they would set out demo DVDs? Yeah. I only got demo name. games as a kid, and so I only would able to play like level one of everything. Oh, Duke's yeah. a hazard, that's for you. That's for you, Austin. <laughs> Jason, you're my guy for life. If you ever need anything, I'll die for you, bro. <laughs> this is a crazy uh, pack. Was, uh... The mini too. That's we were just talking about how the PS1 is the GOAT. Man, Thank best you. of luck on your new career. Whatever you're doing, I hope it works out for you. You're a great guy, obviously, <laughs> with good taste. What we got, Spoon? Code Red Performance. Sounds fast. It does sound fast. Remember Code Red Mountain Dew? Mm. It was kind of fire. It was fire. <laughs> Let's see what we got right there. Oh, that's a note. Hey, Jimmy and the boys, been watching for a while, and I'm stoked to finally see some rotary content. Me too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the road as you're seeing for quite a while and have relatively recently begun 3D printing replacement parts for some discontinued items. If you need anything FD related, hit me up. I was just saying that line. Goldredperformance.com from Dakota. Let's check it out. What we got? Thickers and air fresheners. Let's test the scent. What do we got? <laughs> Sexy squash or no? Nah? Your best friend's sister's bedroom. <laughs> Bathroom body. Nah, <laughs> get out of right? Yeah, I'll smell that. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that so accurate, bro. How long were you waiting to use that? Oh, Years, bro. No, it was just nostalgia like this. Don't ask. Are these actually plates? Yeah, yeah it's just fire. So oh, that's in, sick. in Japan, they have the light up license plate, right? So this obviously is a repop license plate, but it's. It's cool because can you run you know, those on your car? Only on the front. Probably just on the front. Yeah, yeah. you need to replace it. That's cool. Oh, or you could six, run six, this six. in your home office. You know what's wild? DJ actually has the six six plate, yeah, which is have. nuts. I'm oh, speaking of the fucking down. Get down. Get your eyes down here. You sleeping? Talk to me. You sleeping? Who? You. Never, 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 James. What are you doing? Fucking trying to build these wheels. Oh, are you at your shop? Yeah, oh, been here. Oh, all right. I'll be over there. The real ones are really expensive and really rare, especially for like actual cool numbers and stuff. DJ actually, I'm pretty sure DJ has the 666 plate, yeah. which is wild because he found it in some a shop in Japan, which was nuts. So, yeah. but this is cool because you couldn't even tell this was. Yeah. Nah, you couldn't you tell. You can't tell. Yeah. That'd be cool to even just hang on the wall. Here, we're, uh, we're gonna illuminate it so you guys could see it. Austin, cut to the clip. Fire! Oh, that's so that sick. looks so sick. That's so cool. That's, that's dope. Great. Shout out to our Lord and Savior Frank Peppy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> our Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> see how sick is that? We're gonna hop on the website in a little bit, check it out, see what they got. But for now, Dakota, thank you so much for the care package. These things are really, really freaking cool. You want to go next, Austin? Yeah. Okay. Come on. What, what are you feeling? The camera's really warm. Yep. Yep. Feel it out. Feel it out. Amazon. Amazon, okay. Yeah. Where the blade? Probably something Jimmy ordered. Where the blade? Oh. A gift for you. It's Los Angeles from Jay. Love the channel. Would love to see a Honda build a spoon. Happy holidays. Oh, those look like they're for me. Oh, right That's there. OD. Anyone who doesn't know, these are the best those gummy bears bad, you yeah. can buy. Those are real good. Are they? Top Damn. Top Snacks Find acquired. Out. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Can't eat those right now. Steve, Steve, don't do, Steve, do it! Steve, don't do it! No. I'm risking it for the biscuit. Oh, a blue one? Mm. <laughs> These are the best gummy bears you can buy. Gummy bear face? Oh, Wait, no. you just went, didn't you? I went first. Oh, okay, I'm next. I know Austin and I look the same because we're both so handsome, but... I can't believe I got a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like... That's dope. It's 
a long note. We might have to spark note this one. Jimmy! He didn't put any games. Good start. Just uh, I'm a big fan of yours and watch all your content on YouTube and Instagram. I started watching when you were doing the LS swap in the 300ZX. OG. I am in Birmingham, Alabama. Episode of you putting the accessories on your AK-886 engine. Saw that you had to steal the belt off another one of your cars. And you mentioned that you gave Stevie a steering wheel hub from it. But here is one that I had just laying around. Not sure if it'll work. I installed it on my S2000 with the LS swap. Cheers from Eric J. It's gonna be a hub adapter. Oh, this is a nice one too. An NRG one. This is for an S2000, which unfortunately I don't own. <laughs> we almost bought one for like a month ago. We were so close. He doesn't want an S2K. I can see you in an S2K more than I can see you in a Supra. Right? A red S2000 with a carbon heart. This will probably fit. Given the fact that it's Honda to Honda, this will probably fit. I can fit. tell you what it'll fit because we have all NRG parts on our website. Hop little shop your meal. Thank you so much for shipping this because this is now an excuse to buy an S2000. Gracias, <laughs> <laughs> papi. Everyone knows the deal, note first, note first. What is up, Jimmy and the gang? Loving the content as always. Saw you doing tires in a vid a while back. Your brush for the soap look beat. <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> Liked, comment, commented, and subscribed. Patreon, oh, he's a he's a real one. IG, Mikey Frisco, that's M-I-K-E Frisco, spelled Frisco. how it sounds. P.S. Can't find pink rings anywhere. <laughs> Sold out because Sold of us. Out. <laughs> you guys have been so freaking thoughtful this time around, by the way. Yeah, Thank for you. sure. Y'all guys but. are killing it. So we got a yellow FD. Gotta Same. have that. Mazda RX-7. Since, uh, as mentioned in the note, your brushes look beat. This is nice because, like, the wheels on the FD have a lot of spokes, so, and it's you're yeah. just, like, stubbing your fingers. This is nice. Yeah, thoughtful, thoughtful sub mails are always, you know. Yeah, Lupin, you need to clean in too, buddy. Yeah, yeah, clean in <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, homie. Shout out to you. All right, we're good. <laughs> Oaks Garage. First problem, spell Oaks wrong. Never forget the E. Everyone forget O A K E S. O A K E S. Yes. O -A -K -E -S. Wait, everyone, everyone, everyone say it with me. O A K E S. Okay. Thank you. Everyone's here. First, I would like to congratulate Spoon on joining the crew. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's <laughs> definitely an older note. He killed it with the BMW, and I hope that he can persuade Jimmy to do an all-wheel drive Honda build. Big smiley face. Jared has started his own YouTube channel inspired by Jimmy here called Weekender Garage. Car on the back of the shirt is my right-hand drive, 1991. Honda Civic Wagon RTI. It is That's factory four-wheel drive. I hope you enjoy my shirts and stickers. I'm sorry I couldn't send more. Please continue to stay humble. Wow. Much love, Jared, Stacy, wow. at Tell Weekend Garage. Tell me in there. P.S. Thank you, Stevie, for always responding to your DMs on Instagram. I know you probably get tons of messages. DM me. Steve. Right. Hella snacks. <laughs> love that. What's this one? Steve. Stay away. Stay Wait away. till your tummy's good, I all right? Sugar-free candy is for Eddie. Aw, that's sweet. Hi, Chews. You know. Caramel Big guy. caramel guy. You don't gotta be an old man or old oh, woman to enjoy those. Those these are, are slapped on on the rack. Shelf Weekend the garage. Guys, check out, check out his channel. The shelf is building back. Yep. <laughs> Jared, thank you for all the goodies and uh, awesome. and the t-shirts. Austin. Yes. Yes, sir. Get it. <laughs> Get in there. Get after it. Ooh, there we go. Bull Boost Performance. Bull Boost. Hello, Jimmy Oaks. Check out our website, bullboostperformance.com, and hit us up on IG, bullboost.performance. Hold it, hold it. Ooh, it feels like a steering wheel. Ooh, all right, experts, 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 experts. No, awesome. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, oh, that's pretty sick. hot boy style. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Heartless. That is dope. Oh, it's got a heart on it. That's sick. Bull that's Boost. That's that, that is a really good wheel. It's, it's sturdy. Be test. Good wheel. Good wheel. Good wheel. That's nice. That's sick. Heat tank. All right, let's see what's in the box. Okay. Love that. It's a nice wheel. Nice wheel. Catch I'm can. Picky. How cool. A genetic catch can. That's what. That's it. Sick. That's perfect. For the A6, actually. Yeah. It's perfect. Nice little catch can. Thank you, Bull Boost. Guys, go check out their website. See what they got for you. Bull Boost Performance. Bull. Boys at Bull Boost. The boys at Bull Boost. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thanks. Check. Nice bad, Stevie. Boys at Bull Boost. The Bull. boys at Bull Boost. Bull, 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 QR code the screen. That's a good eye. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. E brake mounts. Oh, oh that's sick. These are nice. So, if you guys don't know, when you get a hy hydraulic e brake, right? S13, you got to mount it S15. somewhere. It's usually a pain in the ass. This is sick because it uses the holes for your shifter cover. Boom. And what's nice too is it's thick. A lot of companies make these plates way too thin, and you're yanking that e brake way harder than you think. So, you want something nice and thick. 
like this. And this one's what? For an S and R chassis, which is super cool. Boom. Instagram, Level Ride Concept, Facebooks, and then their website, Level Ride Concepts at BigCartel.com. So if you guys need a mount for your e brake and you don't want to spend your time making it, these are out the box, really nice products. Check it out. These are the boys. Thank you guys. Last one for the day, boys. We got an Amazon package. Jimmy Gang, sending a little thanks for all the awesome content. Y'all remind me of my crew, just a bunch of buds having an awesome time. Keep sure. killing it. Try the freeze dried stuff first. You'll see why from Coulter. Patula. I fucked that up. <laughs> Patula. That's a crazy name. That's oh. sick. Found the peach rings. Found the peach rings. That's why there's a shortage because they're all right here. Five pounds. Of I get this last, three days. No, the last one lasted a week. Yeah. Barely. 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 It was hard. We had it just like in the middle of the shop and then like you'd just be looking and you'd see people like walking with peach rings. Just like... Anytime you walk by Spoon's desk, you'd be like, oh, I don't mind if I do. Why, why not? Uh, Freeze dried Friedels. Oh, come on, can I try them, guys? Yeah. Jeez. That's, one. That's on That's you, one. buddy. That's, oh my god, these are freeze-dried uh um, Skittles. Skittles. Yeah, Friedels. Steve, no. No. Steve, Steve? your stomach. God damn it. This is on you, buddy. <laughs> these are dangerous, bro. <laughs> uh cocoa puff texture, mm. but the flavor. Yeah. Of a yeah. Skittle. yeah. Freeze dried high chill. Wait, I let you uh, spit. Oh, you spit power all over me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I like them. I don't have enough saliva for it. <laughs> Who came up with this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cinnamon challenge. Ah! RJ's <laughs> panties. <laughs> I'm not wearing any No! <laughs> Ah. Blur it shit out. Yeah, do filthy. Thank you for that because we've never, I've never had anything like this before in my life. What I've seen, I've seen, I've seen through. different like fa on like Facebook it. videos. Yeah. I've seen people uh, that sell freeze dried all types of candy and shit. We've got to try, to try it. a crazy amount of just foreign candies, different candies, yeah. just because of you guys, which is super freaking cool. So, guys, so Mel, this was awesome. Uh, we had a blast today. We had a lot of cool stuff, a lot of thoughtful things. Uh, you guys always say are the best subscribers ever. Oh. We still got plenty of packages to go. Um, we'll try to sneak those hopefully in the week before I leave. For now, uh, if you guys want to be a part of Submail, of course, Box is always in the description. Send them anything you want. Thoughtful things, useful things, creative things. Send chocolate covered gummy bears. Don't. Because we'll get too many of them. <laughs> and then Steve's poor stomach. <laughs> but, guys, once again, thank you so much. But for now, we're going to end it. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Don't forget to hop a little chip. You won't get new crew next. <gasps> Have a good night. <laughs>